Mm, it's lovely to be here today. Thank you for the invitation to Talanoa. How are you this morning? Very good. Suffering from a little bit of a head cold. It is the yeah. end of the term. We've all made it to the end of the term, so so very excited about that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it looks like you're looking forward to the school holiday. <laughs> oh, up. yes. The holidays yeah. is when all the work starts still, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so Anne, if you tell no family more, if I'm a bong or not in a falling on my mail to my tau, polycadicalama. Uh, but the curriculum we need is to see a little farm. And you know, I'm talking about the current curriculum. The uh -huh. uh, do, you, do you support the current curriculum? Uh, uh, absolutely. I think the current curriculum has been around for quite a while and it was written by educators yeah. for educators. Yeah. And there is a new curriculum coming out. It is being launched shortly. Mm -hmm. And that is also a fantastic curriculum. We have had lots of Pacifica principals up and down the country yeah. sitting on focus groups to yeah. create this new curriculum. Okay. And it's a curriculum that is beautifully written because it is it really honours te tiriti or yeah. waitau. Yeah. So I think it's, it's a bicultural curriculum, but it also allows for all cultures to be reflected in the curriculum because it talks strongly about all languages, yeah. all cultures, and yeah. all identities. Yeah. And yeah. because it was written by educators yeah. for educators, it is a brilliant curriculum. Okay, so you, you're telling me, so low percent, 100% you're supporting uh, the current curri uh, cur curriculum because then my next question, on the oh. plan, uh, education plan, on the national, if, only if I'm sure you've heard about it, you read about it. Uh, what do you think? Do you, uh, are you against or for? Um, I, I kind of feel firstly, um, the way they posed their new curriculum, I felt it was huge, hugely insulting to our profession, first and foremost. It was almost saying, like, for the past six years, we've done nothing. Mm -hmm. But I think we first need to take into consideration, we've come through a pandemic, we've come through a cyclone and flooding, just to name a few of the issues that we've come through. Yeah. So this has had a huge impact, not just on Pacifica people, but yeah. all people across New Zealand. You know, we've got families who are struggling. Cost of living is skyrocketing. Yeah. Uh, some of our senior students have had to leave school in order to support their families. Rents are rising. So I think we need to take into consideration the mental health of all of our people, because I think we're in a little bit of a crisis. Mm. Um, I, I, think, I think all parties just leave, need to leave the education policy alone. You know, what we've asked for on many occasions is a bipartisan agreement, which would mean that if governments change, then education is left alone. So I think that's what we really need to happen with political parties. We just need them to leave education alone. Okay, <laughs> okay, good one. Uh, uh, Saane, please, uh, if I may ask you, the National Party proposed policy is in is the national standards in its second coating. Uh, I'm trying to interpret this one. <laughs> Are you, do you, would you like to elaborate on that? Or what's your interpretation of that? Well, I think they say it's basics done brilliantly and there's going to be one hour of reading and writing and maths every day. So I'm not quite sure what they mean by that because yeah. all schools do that now. Yeah. So, um, but because we've obviously come through, like I said, a pandemic and all of these other issues we've faced as a society, hmm. We are playing catch up. Some of our children are, are you know, far behind. Mm. So, so I, I'm not sure what they're what they're proposing in their new curriculum. But for yeah. all of us who have read it, it definitely mm. stands like it sounds like national standards 2.0. Yeah. And we know that didn't work for our children back then. Yeah. That's really just around testing. They're saying testing is coming in. Schools yeah. test already. So there is already data out there. Mm. I think it's what we need to look at is what data schools are using yeah. and how can they use that to use that to make the biggest impact on their children. Okay. So yeah, I, I think we've got a great curriculum. So yeah. why do we need to play with it? Bipartisan <laughs> agreement. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I'll let you facility because uh, so obviously the plan about the plan education plan uh, national only if they win the coming up election in in October. Uh, oh. Do you use, do you really uh, think that the curriculum and their plan is only rewriting the the, the plan that's already there? It's more like 
uh, the rugby cold post standing there. You just go and put paint, uh, new paint on it. Uh, it doesn't change the the cold post at all. <laughs> what's your what's your what's your opinion on that? On that? Oh, absolutely. And and my concern is, um, I went to a a moot not long ago in Wellington with lots of principals from all across the country, and the National Party was there sharing their policy, and um, what they were saying was was we are already doing this stuff. So yeah. why do we need to be why do we need to be changing? Mm. But she also stated quite clearly that she'd gone right across the country and spoken to all principals, hence they wrote the curriculum in regards to those conversations. Mm. I'm the president of New Zealand Pacifica principals. Nobody came and asked me. Te Akatea Bruce Jepson, the president of um, Māori principals, he was also in attendance at that hui and mm. no one had come and spoken to him. Yeah. So two key people right across New Zealand hadn't even been spoken to about the new educational policy they were launching. Okay. I also um, reached out to our Pacifica principals and only a few of them had had the National Party in their school to ask them what was needed. Yeah. So I'm a little bit concerned as to who they spoke to in order to create their, to create their education policy. Okay, so Anne, uh, let's see for Sydney, if I'm on Molly, my next uh, question for Ilele. Uh, you voiced your opinion from the point of view as a Pacific Island uh, principle. <laughs> What's the uh, the overall opinion of all the principles around New Zealand? Uh, mm. Have you heard? So I also, yeah, yeah. I, I also sit on Auckland Primary principles, oh. and I sit on Manurewa principles. So just in my little area, and then in the big area across Auckland, mm. and we're all saying the same thing. Everybody would just prefer a bipartisan agreement yeah. with a government if it changes, education is left alone. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. that's what a lot of the principals I've spoken to have said. Okay, excellent. Uh, I've got one question here. Is there enough resources for education or lava puna or for more more on a late time, please? constantly that's what schools are asking for oh. so there's a little bit of work to be done between the ministry of education and schools because we are asking for resource if we oh. had the resource we could sort the problems out within our own schools and i think sometimes the ministry of education try to do right by schools yeah. but one size doesn't fit all so sometimes they come up with these great policies or initiatives, mm. but it doesn't really fix the problems within each school. Okay. So resourcing is definitely an issue. And it's people resource mainly. You know, if we could have extra staffing, then yeah. we could do the jobs of attendance and pastoral care and, and SENCO and all the things you need to do within your schools. Okay, uh, so Anne, please, if I may ask you more time to my tia on the Pacific, current levels of achievement for kids sleeping? Um, I'd say we're not seeing any trends on, on upward greatly right. you know <laughs> schools do everything they possibly can but again we know we've got societal issues we've mm. got attendance we've got um we've got poverty we've got you know children not getting their their basics basic needs met so yeah i wouldn't say they're slipping on an yeah. annual basis every yeah. school will get shifts but it's with a longitudinal we can maintain those shifts. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Anne Fafatai, tell it love more than for entire foe. My last question is so, what are you going to do? Uh, you're not supporting the, the National Party uh, education plan if they win the election. Uh, so, what are you telling all the principals and everyone in New Zealand? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a very good question. And I think we all have to make our own judgments on that one. Yeah. You know, there's many things we don't like, but there's many things we have to do. Yeah. So, you know, all good principles, we will come up with a scenario or a solution right. because that's just what we do. Mm. So even though we don't support it, we will have absolutely no choice but to support it if the National Party get in. Yeah. But we will have to have some... Uh, robust conversations about what that could possibly look like when they roll it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else you want to talk about before we... No, I think we've covered it all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I love you. Have a great day and happy Easter. And happy Easter to you too. Yeah, fast. Well, 